Welcome to the Bald Brad Show. Our story of the day is regarding Joe Rogan entering into the mix regarding the Florida's don't say gay bill. And I'm putting that in air quotes for those that are just listening to the show, because as all of you, I'm sure are aware at this point, nowhere in that bill does it even use the word gay. And it definitely doesn't say don't say gay. So it's entirely fabricated false narrative that has been pushed by the progressive left through these media outlets. Well, this one comes from our friends over at the Daily Wire. If you're not already a member, hey, go over and become a subscriber today. And also subscribe here at the Bald Brad Show. And don't forget to show us some love by hitting that like button and sharing this link with your friends and family all over social media. With that being said, they titled this one, Joe Rogan blasts false don't say gay narrative tells teachers that's not your job. Joe Rogan blasted the narrative surrounding the so-called don't say gay bill in Florida and sent a message to teachers that it's not their job to teach about gender transitioning and sexual orientation. And he's absolutely correct on this. It is not their job to talk about gender transitioning. As far as I'm aware, and I'm in California, Common Core standards do not cover gender transitioning. So I don't know into which which classes they're talking about here, these teachers, to which it's appropriate to talk to children preschool elementary school these these young adolescent children these types of things so that is a hard concept to grasp especially when you're in early stages of brain development during a discussion friday on the joe rogan experience rogan's guest stand-up comedian was talking about the host's n-word controversy and being asked about it during a recent interview the host said and discussed with the interviewee how there seems to be a pattern of trying to get people mad without giving all the context i absolutely agree there's a stir up here that's trying to sit there and either silence somebody or at the other end just piss people off and get a crowd of mob to go after those individuals or create and stir the pot a little bit and they did the same thing with joe rogan look we all love joe rogan just because he said the n-word and utilized it in context the correct context he was being bashed and thankfully he's not being canceled thankfully he's not being silenced because look everybody knows who joe rogan is he's on the air for three to six hours a day talking and everybody understands what he meant when he utilized the n-word now that doesn't mean you should use it hence why i'm not saying it here but i'm just saying there's a lot of people that do use it behind the scenes that aren't racist that aren't use using it and i'm using air quotes again a malicious way and again i'm not saying that you should use it all i'm saying is i know people that have used it behind the scenes you know off camera or um in the locker room and stuff like that and it wasn't meant in a malicious way things of that nature i've heard african-american people say it i've heard asian people say it i've heard every ethnicity and race say the n-word that doesn't mean nor does it mean i think that they're racist or that they were saying it in a racist way they might have been just using it in a certain context or form it goes on here to say the host and they discussed a pattern there seems to be a pattern to trying to get people mad without giving all the context well the interviewee added he wouldn't be used to get another person journal or person's journalist agenda across approximately the 134 42 mark the podcast host then asked the person if he had heard about the don't say gay blank in florida Quote, they're calling this the don't say gay law in Florida with kids, Rogan explained. Quote, they're pretending. They're saying they don't say gay. Everybody's saying gay, gay, gay. I'm going to say gay because I support gay people and gay rights and gay this and gay that. But that's not what the law is, he added. What the law does say is that from first grade to third grade, you can't bring up gender transition, sexual orientation, whether people are gay or straight. They say, don't teach that in class. That's it. That's the law, which seems reasonable. And I'm fully on board with what Joe Rogan's saying here. You don't want an unknown person who's a teacher, a stranger, talking to your kid who's six about sexual transitioning and gender transitioning and sexual orientation and gay people and bisexual people and non-binary people. 100% agree. It should be left up to the parent. And these leftists are going, and these progressives, they're freaking out over this because they want to be able to indoctrinate your children. When the parent doesn't want this stuff to happen, it should be left up again to the parents, just like Joe Rogan's talking about. I'm sure many of you that watch the show don't want a teacher teaching your son or daughter these very things, nor do you even want these types of things to be brought up at such a young age. Wait till later on life where their frontal lobe is actually able to understand and grasp these complicated concepts. Like, hey, 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 the blank, kidding me, needs to learn how to read and write and count and know history and normal blank, Rogan said. They don't need to know about trans kids 
and that's not for you to teach. That's not your job. That's a delicate issue to be handled by parents and loved ones. And so people are freaking out and they're calling it the don't say gay bill, which again, doesn't mention that at all, but that's not what the bill is. But if you say don't say gay, people freak out. Oh, Florida is just a homophobic and they're so backwards. That's not what it is. In an earlier podcast episode this week, Rogan also weighed in on Florida's bill and said teachers aren't supposed to be the people that explain gender a blank to a seven-year-old. And he's 100% correct. But again, this is not going to stop the left. This is not going to stop these progressive teachers from teaching these concepts to your children. They might do it in secret. They might do and create clubs in secret, which has been done on campuses. And what I mean by that is that these clubs that some of these teachers are creating are not on the books, meaning there's actually no record of these clubs being created by these teachers or these students. And so they're going under the radar. These students aren't notifying their parents that they're a part of these clubs. The teachers aren't notifying the parents. The teachers aren't notifying the admin. There was a case where some teachers did notify the principal and the admin that these clubs were being created, but the admin left it off the books so that if somebody were to research it, the club actually doesn't exist. And that's for this LGBTQ plus divided by minus minus times 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 AA whole stuff. So finally, Joe Rogan gets in the mix and I'm glad that he did because he has a voice out there for many people and he's generally the voice of reason. And I'm using that word generally because I think at some point, anybody and everybody is not always the voice of reason on a specific topic, but I'm glad he's speaking here as a parent and really voicing what I believe a lot of Americans actually feel where they don't want their kids at such a young age learning about uh, sexual orientation, gender transitioning, trans kids, all this other stuff. It is true. They need to stick to the basics, the learning, the writing, the arithmetic, all that other stuff. Well, folks, let me know what you think in the comments regarding this quote. I'm using air quotes again. Don't say gay bill. Are you for teachers not teaching your kids about gender transitioning and sexual orientation or are you all for it? With that being said, thank you so much for joining me here. And folks, I will see you later today here on The Bald Brad Show.